Oh, guys. I used to date broke guys all the time. And she goes, no, nah, it's a struggle doing it. I wouldn't date it. one now. No, I just wouldn't. Mm. Like, yeah. So people might say, oh, you're a gold digger or whatever, but I'm like, mm. but I've done it and I know it doesn't work for me. People would be saying, how can they support the channel? Chisel, buy chisel. I've got tops, I've got hoodies, I've got the Dragon Ball Z tees, like the Pain and Full Star tees. You lot could support, buy some of the merch. I'll be able to churn out more content. This one, I'm just waiting by myself for the, for the moment and I'll bring out more colours. Please support. UK music wasn't so revered yeah. throughout the world, so mm. it was really hard to break internationally mm. you might have broke europe but to break internationally was quite hard then yeah. i think now uk artists are doing that they're breaking internationally yeah. Yeah. and then they're getting co-signed for people like drake and drake, stuff like that yeah. so it's a lot easier to kind of infiltrate the music you know the music industry being yeah. someone just from the uk yeah. you know yeah. um but back then we didn't have that we but didn't I have no we didn't have that and we didn't have the internet the way yeah. we have yeah. the internet yeah. now, True. which is unfortunate yeah. you know? and hence why i'm saying the mountain pot is for me is like it's the seed. Like, if you like, if you love, if you love Drake, if you love um, Storms, mm. you like all these people. That means you love us. Do you know mm. what I'm saying? Because the thing is, and that's why when people come to my night, and people don't realize you've got you've got Bob from around the corner, and you've got Sharon and and, and Sharon and Susie and. Just a second, can you plug in that properly, please? So what's it actually called, so they can actually understand. So it's called the Melting Pot yep. Table because I've got a radio show that I do on Soho Radio. It's mm -hmm. been doing it for three years, and I've got a night at Chip Shop Brixton every last last Friday of the month. Chip Shop's the one in the corner, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, and I, I don't try downs. people. People are like, oh, yeah. you should be doing. People. Every last Friday of the month. Every last Friday of the okay. month. And then people were saying to me, oh, you should collaborate. And that's why I started to realise that it's doing its thing. People coming to me, oh, you should come and collab. You should do it at this event. You should do it here. Mm -hmm. It could be much bigger. I don't need to do this because this is what they do. Mm -hmm. It could be much bigger. Let me let us put our little sh people on the, on, 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 the, on the bill. The next minute they take ownership of it mm -hmm. and you have no, nothing to do yeah. with it. So I'm like, when, it, when it's meant to make money, it will make money. But mm -hmm. right now, let people understand, we started this by ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I think, that's yeah. what I'm saying, and this is the same thing when I'm talking even about the weave and the hair. It's like it's not a thing that we need to do. We do it because of our choice. I don't want to wear weave. Wait, wait, and I want to talk whoa, a certain whoa, 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 way. Whoa, 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 Let's just let's just put that back. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I, I, I want to just marinate before I interject. Marinate, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I know. All right, so, so that's why I just want to make sure that's okay. why okay. the button push up. I just want to make sure that comment doesn't come. No, one second. Let me push up. Let me finish. Let me finish. I just want to make sure that comment doesn't come across me trying to say something. No, because some people will take it the wrong way. So how? Okay, you mentioned identity earlier. You mentioned identity earlier. So my question is. How important is identity? And I talk identity in the sense of what you're putting out there to the masses. Yeah. Okay, for instance, you mentioned Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah. Um, you mentioned Aretha Franklin yep. earlier. And um, you alluded to the fact that Whoopi Goldberg probably, you, you didn't say it, but you kind of alluded to her aesthetics. Yeah. How she might appear to the general yep. population. So yep. my question to, to the two of you ladies Pardon is, <laughs> how important is identity to the two of you when it comes to singing, bearing in mind that now, I always say that your parents should be your role models. So when people, yes, try, to, when people try to throw someone saying, oh, but you're, 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 you're Terry Walker, you're Kelly LeRock, you know, what are you showing the young ladies? Da, da, da. Yeah, yeah. But my question now is how important is identity to the two of you and also the message that you put out there with what you show? As yourself, so we we'll start, we'll start with Kelly. No, so this, this is this is exactly what it is. What I, what I love about me and Kelly, though, so what it was for years, so we're hanging out, like, no, we love each other. We're supposed to hang out, and she invited me to things. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm coming. I never turn up to something because I wasn't. I didn't feel like in I was in that friend. place as an artist that looked. I wasn't looking like myself because I wasn't. I wasn't in a place where I was able to support myself in a way. But people know who Terry Walker was. So when one day mm -hmm. we, me and you started talking, and then she's like, I oh, just come. So I ended up coming to her thing, and when we saw each other, we hugged each other. I look at Kelly. Kelly. When you look at her as an artist, she is everything that I think embodies what you should be like. No, don't laugh. No, 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 no I agree. I no, 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 no. no, no, no. Kelly, you know what? Kelly, like, I agree. You, no, I love you. I let, love me, you. let me finish. I love you. If you don't know who we are, you look at Kelly, instantly you're going to go, wow, Kelly, that's no, Kelly. No. If I mm -hmm. walk into the room, the way that I look, I look, because I, I used to be that at one point, because I had everything going, I had the whole label, the team. But then I realised for me, what, what, what makes, what defines me is not what I just look like, it's what, what I'm singing about, what I'm saying to you. And this time, when I, got, when I came into the industry, mm -hmm. I was. As I said, I came from Germany, I was a bit off key. And what, what made me. No, I was, I, was very, I was very off key. I said, Young Frankfurt. This is why I love her. This is why I love no, her. I still am. I still am. not love her. I still am. I'm quirky. But what I, what I realized, what made me become the artist that I am today is the person that said, you know what? I know, I'm, God is what I look like. I know when I start singing and do my tune, you're going to be like, oh my God, wow. Yeah, exactly. And that's what it is. Yeah. But then, but then on top of that, oh my God. And this is where, where Kelly was so ahead of me in that because she knows that about herself, but then she also knows. The grooming side of things is important. Mm -hmm. I had to get back to that place for me to, I had to make sure that I can sustain myself from what I do naturally mm -hmm. with my music. And then when I make my own money and whatever else, I can support that. Mm -hmm. So it's very important that identity is, um, is something that people can look up to. But I think it's also important that you know why you're doing what you're doing. Because mm -hmm. if you end up just doing it because, oh God, I don't want to make, I don't want to lose these followers. I don't want to make sure that I say the wrong thing in the next minute. Mm -hmm. So you end up going along with things that you don't really believe in. Then when you're on stage, you're getting anxiety. You feel like an, you feel like an imposter because you think, mm -hmm. oh, 
you're not sure. You're being true to yourself. Yeah, exactly. Because mm -hmm. you're not yeah, being yeah. true. But when you're being true to yourself, this fucking Kelly can say blood clot and tell you about your blood clot song. Mm -hmm. But I say, still be like, hi, babe. At the same, because that's she's <laughs> both of those people. Mm -hmm. She's not pretending to be someone that she's not. But mm -hmm. with me, I'm, not, I'm never going to. When I did, when I was trying to pretend to be someone that I wasn't, mm -hmm. it didn't work for me. And now mm -hmm. it does, you know? So that's why. Okay. That's and yourself? <laughs> um, I just realised you talk fast. I know. Yeah. Ah, yeah. We do like, I get passionate. Yeah. I don't like you lots personally, you're very vibrant. Yeah. Like, and, and I like it. I got got energy, I've it. met the two of you, well, I've not met them, I've seen the two of you before, but yeah. I've never actually seen your personalities. Yeah. That and it's good to see oh, you. Well, I'm alright, there's not getting too much. Okay. <laughs> no, I like it, man. I like, yeah, it, lucky. man. I like you lots um, of energy. It's nice. Um, I just feel like, it. you know, kind of like what, <laughs> what, um, um, Terry said, you know, it takes a while for you to know yourself, yeah, you know. Yeah, it does. It's a um, not even just as someone in the industry, just in general as a human being. Mm. And mm. I didn't always know myself. Mm. But, you know, I'm a big woman now. If I don't know myself by now, when am I going to blood clot know myself? <laughs> Do you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> blood clot clot. Yeah, I got it in. Yeah, so um, in knowing myself, you know, I don't have a team. I do, like, my mum's a clothes designer, so my mum taught me to make clothes when I was young. I made my own clothes. Um, I studied beauty therapy when I was 19, so I learned okay. how to do makeup and, and other stuff. Flawless. And I do my own hair and, like, so all this I do myself. So I think I don't have a team. All I've got is me in it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I, for me, I just think, as an elder in this game mm -hmm. and as someone who's still working regularly and doing their thing, you know, mm -hmm. I just, I just want to show that, you know, you don't have to get old and fat and dry. Like, mm. you can just like, and I don't mean that in a horrible way. Mm. No, yeah. because, mm. you know, that's one of the things, you know, like... I didn't like, write phobic in the, yeah. in the comments, <laughs> man. No, 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 but no, but you know what's so funny? The reason, the reason why I say that is because when people see me that haven't seen me for years, they're like, yeah. oh, you're still slim and that. Yeah. Like, mm. What did you expect? Because I think, when you, especially when you, there's a connotation with house music, yeah. that mm. a lot of house divas, a when they get older, yeah. they get bigger mm. and, you know, yeah. not let themselves go, because I'm not saying bigger women let themselves yeah, go. Yeah, exactly. That's so, so you mm -hmm. but you know compared to what you look like before to yeah. what you look like now and the thing i'm always told is oh my god you look exactly the yeah, same and you're beautiful and um, so that is part of i would say that's part of my identity that mm -hmm. I, I you know i pride myself on always being well groomed yep mm -hmm. and um and because i do it by myself you know it's just like some days i might not be on point yeah and some days I'm point. fully on point. Mm -hmm. Listen, I knew you to put makeup on because she because you were coming today. I'm like, let me come in. Yeah. I, know, I knew you were coming. I'm going to be looking like some mouth that's really high. Like, what happened to Terry Walker? That's, 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 but this is the point. This is, before you saying that, before I knew that about Kelly, mm -hmm. I would look at her and think, oh my God, if I don't look like this, what's the point? But then mm -hmm. we're getting to know each other. Yeah. It's like, we understand this is what it's But so also, important. as well, like, if you see me out on a normal day, I'm not fandangoed at all. Like, mm -hmm. I'll, I don't wear fandango. makeup. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I've done that, like, even when I did that last podcast with my man, I just had a cap on, like, I've, but you still look fabulous. But I don't know, like, in all honesty, like, being fandangoed every day is, is work, man, it's, it's work, yeah. it's, it's work. work. Okay. Do you know what I mean? But, you know, I feel like when you're just a one-woman show and you do everything yourself, mm. you've mm -hmm. just got to make the effort to just sometimes be in league with people that have got a whole team. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? When you yeah. think about Beyonce, for instance, remember, mm -hmm. you don't see what goes on behind the scenes of Beyonce, yeah. you yeah. just see what's the... Um, Remember, Kelly does everything by herself, and it's mm. not taking anything away from anybody else. But we have to show people there's other ways of doing this. There's not only one way. There's not only yeah. one because back, back then it was like one in, one out. If yeah. you're not doing what, because what what my downfall was when I did, when I had my record, it was very one in, one out. And they tried mm. to turn me into the next um you know like Beyonce stroke Jamelia, and I'm like mm. I'm nothing like those two. I'm a completely different artist to them. Yeah. I talk about different things. I'm not about the same mm. thing, but. I love them, respect them, but I don't have to go and follow what they do. Yeah. And that's what they do with black women, especially, where they make us feel like, oh, this one works. Let, let them all be like that. And yeah. it's like, no. Copy it's the same with black men as well. Yeah. Think about it. You think they're about afraid to take a chance on yeah. something new. I think yeah. that's kind of changed a bit now. I think they're more kind of open to something that's new. And I, and I think where they kind of, they're kind of, you know, because you, obviously back in the day as well, you you could get a development deal and you'd be developed. Yeah. They don't really mm. develop people anymore. They'll yeah. go on your stats, like mm. how many YouTube, yes. how many TikToks. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so in some ways it, it kind of benefits new artists because they've tried and tested themselves on social media mm. platforms. Okay. You know what I mean? So now I'll be like, okay, they've got a little following doing what they do. Mm. It's kind of cool. Okay, yeah. we'll sign them. Do you know what I mean? Um, mm. And so people are allowed to be a bit more unique and be more themselves. Mm. But you have to remember as well, and those things that they go by, is, and it's, just, it's, a, it's a small group of people that they focus on. Yeah. It's a whole world. Like, remember yeah. the internet is the world. It's not just England. Yeah. If you do well in those states or somewhere else, it trickles down to everything else. Yeah. So Because if you can sustain yourself and do big videos because you've made money from another section, it, you know, that's mm. what it is. Because it's about sustaining yourself. It's about being... So if you, even, if you, even if you have to go and find a job whilst doing what you're doing, if you're serious about it, you will. Mm. Kelly's doing her own thing because she's serious. 
She wasn't. She wouldn't be doing it anymore. You know what I mean? God, no. No. Both of you men talk. <laughs> <laughs> God, no. If I didn't love it, I would just like, forget about it. Can you imagine? I could probably be a stripper on the... On the the worst trip I've ever had. But can I ask you a question? If you weren't a singer, what would you do? What would you be? What would you do? Oh my god! Well, I, I don't know. I think I'd be an actress. I think I'd. Always, I'd still know, I still be in the creative it. arts. I, I can't imagine it. I do a bit of acting anyway, but I think I'd, I'd be more serious I can't about it. What, what do you ladies do outside of music, though? So, do, do you have any like extracurricular activities? Sleep. Do you have any like hustles outside of music or sleep? Um, what do you mean just DIY? Sleep? I love to do DIY. <laughs> okay, you say interior, DIY. Explain. And, and interior design. Yeah, does. So DIY, like, so I do like epoxy resin stuff. Um, I build stuff, I make stuff, I do interior design. You say design. build stuff. I'm not saying it in a sexist way. So when you say build stuff, what do you mean? What are you building? I, I build... As in men's hopes and then dropping them. What do you mean? <laughs> so, Sorry, what do you mean? Sorry. So, like, in my in my house, I, I built a dining table. You said men's of glass. hopes. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, uh, breakfast bar. Yeah, that was funny. Um, I built a, um, my headboard in my bedroom. Okay. Uh, Is I this made, from scratch? Yeah, from scratch. Like you, do you, you follow you, her on Instagram? She's, 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 no, no, she's, no, I'm not from scratch. You need to. No, no. It's from Squizzy so, Scratch. So you, 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 you measured it up, got the wood. When, yes, yes. When the bird happened, she redone everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I had a fire in my See, house last like year, mate. So I've just been redoing the whole house. So yeah, I and I did I did actually did a home study course in interior design as well. So I'm a qualified interior designer. But it's just something that I just, I love, I'm creative and I love being creative. So with in regards to like DIY and interior design, that's something I would really love to get into. Okay. You're doing it already, never you know, get into it. No, but I mean get paid for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it's interesting <laughs> when we talk yeah. about when we talk about gender roles, it's interesting because obviously when we talk about DIY, generally we kind of don't push that to women. We sort of think yeah. about men doing men it. Men should do it, yes. Do you know what I mean? So we're guys, telling guys me, that wear hard hats and built like DJ Khaled. You know? <laughs> that's, what we, that's what we expect. So when yeah. you're telling me um like you do DIY, I'm just like I wouldn't say I'm shocked. But it's very rare to find. Oh, she puts it, up shelves. Yeah, to put yeah. up shelves. Because remember, there are men, for it's instance, who don't shelf, who babe. don't do shelves. Yeah, yeah. You know, and um, it's interesting when men sometimes throw these gender roles out there and say they want a woman to to cook, you know, and etc. And mm. I just say, I can cook as well. Oh, oh yeah, I've got a whole. Well, actually, it used to be called What La Rock Is Cooking, but now mm-hmm. I've changed it to La Rock Life because I want to start <laughs> doing my interior design on okay. there and stuff. But yeah, I. I, I just find it interesting because I'm the kind of guy that. That's you know, funny. What um, La Rock Is Cooking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 La Rock. Yeah. What, what La Rock Is Cooking? Yeah, you'll see all my see all my dishes on there. Okay. Really yeah. I think with gender roles, I'm kind of for and against them. You know, because I'm the kind of person that I've got no problem a woman doing a nine to five. Do your nine to five, but make sure you come home and do your six to eight. You know, you've got to. You know, you've got to <laughs> you got one out to get home. <laughs> <laughs> and I want you to you know, you know, And make sure you're you know, five minutes break. break. Yeah, yeah, that's so mad. So <laughs> I, it's funny. You got to six to eight, you know? Yes, I feel like as an independent modern woman. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. In the, okay, go on. Go on yeah, listen, go on. Oh, Sorry, darling. Yeah. Independence. Although I think independence mm. is overrated. Like mm. I would love a man to just take care of me. Hundred percent. I'd love it. Like he'd be like, "Baby, I got you," and I'd be like, "Thank you, baby." Mm. Then all I have to do is <laughs> just prance around and sing on stage, and I wouldn't have to do it for money. <laughs> 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 but um, I, but I also do kind of like traditional roles as well, mm-hmm. like gender roles, mm-hmm. in the sense of like I do love cooking and I love cooking for my man, mm. and I love a man to be like romantic and bring home flowers mm-hmm. and take you on holidays and take mm-hmm. you shopping. I love those kind of things. But equally, I can take myself on holiday and I can take myself shopping. Now that's fine interesting because sometimes men have all of these lists of things that they want women to do. Yeah, yeah. And then when you kind of What's flip it list? sometimes. What's your, your list? list? Um, it's going to sound really bad, you know. Yeah, I would. It's going to sound really bad. <laughs> my, my list is very, and I think, I can't, I can't talk. You didn't even hear what she said. What's that, what she say? <laughs> uh, I can't I, talk I, for I, all men. I don't know what you said. But I think, yeah? generally what? speaking, the only thing a man wants is respect. Yes, and I think, that's true. but you have to be able to nurture a situation where respect is granted because respect go. is earned. There you go. That's why I say when you have these gender roles and mm-hmm. you want women to do all of these things, no mm-hmm. problem. But I always say, what are you doing the equivalent of? Yes, yeah. and 100%. in the same way, when a woman might want all of these gender roles done by a man, I say, what are you doing 100%. too? 100%. Do you know what I feel like as well? Like, um, I feel like because a lot because I'm quite a powerful, strong woman, a lot of men say, oh, you don't want a real man. Mm. You, you know, you... <laughs> Are you, you checking your triceps? No, no, she said powerful, strong. I'm just trying to... Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh as an also oh, interpersonal. Yes, yeah, oh, I am. Sorry, I'm sorry. A oh, sorry, sorry. Do you want some baby oil with that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then, you know, I, I often get accused of, like, you don't want a real man. You want someone you can boss around and tell what to do. And uh, I'm, like, I'm like, that. no, I want a powerful man. Yes. But... If someone is intimidated by my power, that's on them. That's, that's on not them. on me. Mm. And I also feel like when the wom- when a woman finds the right type of man mm-hmm. who exudes that kind of alpha male without being that stereotypical alpha yeah, male, which yeah. I think is quite toxic. Yeah, it's very toxic. Um, she will submit to him. She will submit to him. Because I always mm. say, I'm a leader, but I'm a happy follower. 
as long as I know you're not leading me off a cliff, <laughs> like, so let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I will. 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 Exhausted doing everything by yourself all the time. Mm -hmm. If I had someone said, Baby, don't worry about this, I got this, mm -hmm. and I could I trust got yeah. mm -hmm. that he got said with a deep voice, it's a black man, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I could trust that he had it, mm -hmm. then I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Do you know, and I agree with it because it's funny, mm -hmm. over the years I've been dating different, and I think this is the first time I think in my life as well. No, no dispute to anyone I dated before, but this person right now. You met Chris. Yeah. And it's like he's someone that we're I'm not a super Shout out Chris. Big <laughs> yeah. up Chris. Big up my girl. Shout out Chris yeah. But I'm not, I, I'm not someone that would Chris. you can't tame me. You can't tell me what to do. But if I respect you because you respect yourself and you know what you need to do, I all day. Uh, Can I interject? Would you not say that your dating habits have changed the mature you've got? So, no, to, so for instance, the, the men you were going for maybe when you was 21, 22, 23, have are they is it still the same man? This is the problem. I've always been this way because of the way that my stepdad introduced me and my mum to the world, mm -hmm. he showed us that a man, like he wanted my mum to become a boss, he made it become a but when he became insecure, he started acting weird. So I saw that. So that's been one of the things that has been set level for me when it comes to finding me. So I that's why I'd rather be single than be with a man that's gonna lift me up, but then the moment when he when he feels insecure makes me feel like Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why all the men, all of my guys around me that I work with are mostly men actually. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the women that I have around me are women that are insecure within themselves and they know mm -hmm. who they are. So no, it never changed. It's that the people around me have started changing. And that's, mm -hmm. that's the reason why I can meet people that are on my mm -hmm. level. Because before I've never cared about money or, because I grew up around it. Mm -hmm. Oh, can I, I never used to care about money. I care about money now. I'm not dating Ooh, no. This is interesting. No, no, because I've been the breadwinner mm. in relationships many times mm. and I've upgraded men. So you said I, honcho? Yeah, because oh, wow. I okay. never had... Okay. No, she ain't lying. Get I'm just going to the bathroom, I'll be back. We're going to finish... I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> Are you really? I'm going to the bathroom, introduce myself. Make sure, like Make sure you turn the mic off. You might down. <laughs> Make sure you turn the mic off, you don't hear you pissing. <laughs> you don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear no pssss. You're saying honcho, yeah? But no, I have, I have, I've, um, I've been the breadwinner. And not in a bad in way, you know what I'm saying? It's and, like, and I feel like you don't even have a problem with it. But mm -hmm. I feel, but then, but then, when you need your man to step up and he's not stepping up, mm -hmm. and you've stepped up for him, and what you're saying they become homosexuals. What? What? A homosexual. That's what we call guys who just bum around. Um, no, I wouldn't say they bummed. I wouldn't say they bummed around. I would never say that. <laughs> this one, you look. You, it's the first time I see him laughing that loud. You know, like, you tick, you tickle resty this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah I, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even say that. I would more say, you know, that that was a quick piss. They're just. Did you wash your hand? Of course I did. Did you wash your hand? Of course, hand. Of course, of course I, better. Really? Touch my elbow. <laughs> no, with your hand. It's dry now. Uh, how? How? Where do you that want it to be? I don't feel like that was water. Was how? How wet do you want it to be? That did you, did, like did you hear the hand dry go off? I'm not no, coming back. No, no, I'm not coming back to you. Don't hear the hand drive off. What's this? You don't hear the hand drive off. Why did you up with Jenkins? We know you're clean because you got, yeah, so, much, so, you got so, so much to say. You have to be. So you're saying about sorry? But where was you before? I was <laughs> yeah, no, I was saying that you know I've been the breadwinner in quite a few relationships, and um, okay. I, I, I don't think it's healthy mm. I, um, in the sense of unless both people are really because I think what eventually happens is men feel emasculated mm -hmm. and women feel like. Like, you know, we should have said to him, Wesley, why is Wesley laughing? I want to know, you know, I wanna know your opinion. And you know, we should have said to him, Kels, I want to know why Wesley's laughing. Put, put your skirt up, B. <laughs> no, 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 Okay, so obviously we're we, we generalised, which is fine. But I like generalisation. I'm not generalised. I'm going on my own experience. So what yeah. you're saying? So, so okay, I find it interesting because there was a meme one time on Instagram where this guy was saying to a woman, um, so, so and so and so, you know, sight and sight, he goes um, to this girl. Do you know to me you're that broke friend? Do you know that? Do yeah. you see that meme where he was yeah. talking about he said that to this girl? So basically, he was saying to like this woman in a sense where he goes um. Would you, you know date a, break, a broke guy? Would you date a broke guy? I used to date broke and guys goes, all the time. Nah, it's a yeah. But I wouldn't date it. one now. No, I just wouldn't. Mm. Like, yeah. So people might say, oh, you're a gold digger or whatever, but I'm like, mm. but I've done it and I know it doesn't work for me. But when you say broke guy, I think when, it, I've been out, when people say broke to me, I think broke in the sense of mindset, in the sense of how you like get it. Do you know what I'm like saying? Because yeah. you don't have to have money, but if you're getting a hotel, God's, God's, God's going to bless you. Don't I'm tell not anybody. Doing fix God's gonna no, bless no, 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 but it's not even fix rappers. I'm not doing it. But no, but, but he could have all the visions in the world. But it's not fix rappers, but he's actually doing it, but he's got the same amount of. No, you know, I'm not saying you. I'm not saying okay. you. I'm saying, yeah. not saying you. But I'm saying that, for instance, I know I'm in a place where I've had mm -hmm. it, lost it. Thinking I'm back in a place where I'm building myself up. I'm in that same, but I'm 43 years old. So yeah. okay, no, so I was 21, so I forgot to say. But you know, but I'm in a place where someone can like me now. They can see it as, oh, you're trying to get yourself back to where you are. And saying, so as a man, I know that. So he's like, he's been there. He knows what he felt. There's these people have never been there, but they want to tell you about their vision, and that's a different matter. No, but I think I'm more coming from the point of when when someone's saying, yeah, you know, like. 
I'm, I'm going to try this, I'm going to do... If they're in the action of doing it and I see that, you know... There you go. Conscious. And they're decisions. not asking you for nothing. Yeah. They're not expecting you for... They're just there for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if they expect but you to help them... I'm mm. not doing any more fixer rappers. Yeah, you don't we'll need to. Yeah. You're killing my fucking rapper. <laughs> wow. So you, okay. So now this is the thing, I have, and and it's fine. It's courses for courses, and the same rules that apply for everybody. So yeah. you've got to a position where you're saying you don't want to be in a situation where you, where you've got to struggle with a guy in regards to finances. Okay, because you feel that sometimes they're masculine. Oh, oh, the other thing I will say. Let me just say as well. I'm a big team player. So yes. if I met a guy and he was just like, "Babes, I'm on the up, but I'm not there yet," mm. I'd be like, "Okay, what there can we what can we do together as a team to like?" Build up each other and build up something together. Exactly. Like, I'm open to that. That's as well. a, that, that, that's what I'm so, yeah. so you're not going to like change your screen but save on the laptop. I'm just not going to do like... like what I did before. See man, see man <laughs> from college, pay for everything, no, and live in my no. house for free. I'm not doing that again. Oh, but but we no. but, but, but when, when we do it, it's not it's fine as it. <laughs> no, but what but when we do it for you, lot, it's fine as <laughs> it. No, no. no what, I'm, just, I'm just asking, darling. No, but what I'm but saying. But no one's ever done that for her. That's what she's done it for The reason why I feel it's a problem is because it is it's a traditional gender swap. That's why I think it's a problem. So basically, she said no hope. And no she's never, no one's yes. ever done yeah. it for her. She's done it for herself all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, so. and I've done it. So it's not, I'm not saying I didn't, I've done it. Do you know what I mean? But I feel like it doesn't work. Because okay. the man feels emasculated eventually, mm -hmm. and you feel like you can't respect him. But I think, and it's, and the, I, I think it's the other way around too for women. A woman, because that's one of the reasons why I never was into a man providing for me. Like, because I grew up around that whole, you know, hustler, pimp mentality of the woman, you know, you're my woman, you have to act accordingly, you have to look a certain way, da 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 da, da. And then the next minute, when it comes down to you being your own person, it's like next minute they make you feel You're so right as well, because mm -hmm. when you date rich men, or certain they make you feel like, yeah, yeah, they feel like they own you. They own you. So it's the same thing. So what's, what's, what's the middle ground? Seen as no so rich men, no. Yeah. Just chill. You just want and you're to both just on the progress. Same goal. You want to progress. And you're, you're on the same progress goal. together. We never asked this question. Can we, can we just get an answer for what the middle oh, ground is? You know yeah. what? I just said oh, oh, what no, the middle ground is. No, you're, you're doing respect, ambiguous. Respect, can we, I want a definitive. Respect. That's it. Respect. Just respect. 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 I want a man respect. who makes 100K like I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, want. I want an answer. I want a specific but answer. But I don't care. Yeah. Because I don't know. Oh, God. He can make a million a year. I yeah. Know, but but the thing no is, less than 100 But the thing is, you know, people that have money. People that have There's money. There's the clip that you come for. Think about it, though. People that have money that are successful, they don't talk about that. They just keep making money because they mm -hmm. know when you're around, you know, this is when they say, um, look at your friends and look at see your future. Mm -hmm. If your friends are ambitious and do what they do, it doesn't matter how long they get there, as long as they mm -hmm. get there. Yeah. So it's the same with your man. If your man's not someone that's expecting you, like, my, my, no one around me is jealous of my, of my, I'm not jealous of anything that they do because we mm -hmm. know we've all got We're on our own team. We're on our team, but mm -hmm. it's a respect thing. So it's all about yeah. respect. No, because we don't care about. You know, money. like, when you go on, on Instagram and this happens to all of us, like, <laughs> and we get FOMO. And we get, in, we get insecure. You. So what I, I do, <laughs> like what I do, whenever I, I feel like that, I'm like, okay, put that energy back into your business. Put that energy back into yourself. Like put we, that energy. We, we, we both That's got, how me and you connected again. Yeah. We both got formal because we never got invited to GRM again. Well, go on. Can we talk about this on there? No, go on. Go on. Your <laughs> no, 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 Posty <laughs> does not rate me. Posty does not. You know you don't rate me, Posty, but it's Bless okay, baby, because I rate myself highly. You know what it is? I rate, no. Do you know we what never I, go by anyway. Do you know what I get into the thing? Because like, it got to a point with me. I stopped getting. Inv I stopped going to a lot of things. So I know I stopped getting invited because I stopped going because people need to understand. I was going through something, but I wasn't trying to pretend i wasn't trying to fake it till i make it so mm -hmm. to, you know when people are when they're on their journey they ain't got time for people like us that are not we're going through something they don't want to hear they just want to get to it and yeah. i think that's why i, really, I love posty i think he's amazing well done what you do. oh do you know what but i bigger i bigger i bigger but at the same time posty is someone like he's he's about business i think if he sees you doing up he'll be like yo my brother mm -hmm. and this is the thing we cannot sometimes we have friends in business you can't take it personal because it's about business it is and it then is. sometimes friendships are friendships but business is business and i think i'm in a place right now i haven't got time for someone oh uh, because when i did that i know how annoying I was and how much I was weighing people down when I wasn't moving because mm -hmm. it's making them not get yeah. to where they need to get to. Mm -hmm. Posty right now is winning. But also, babe, winning. when you when you go to an event like you see random BBL. Yeah, wow, wow, like, why am I not wow, wow, <laughs> and this is what I'm saying. But this is what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 we honestly buy it. Like, we're not feeling it. I sometimes ask me, you're it, but how's that? But also, as well, understand. I've had this conversation with Posty. Yeah. I'm not trying no one be on that way. Thank you, I'm I'm not I said, you do not rape me. I said that to him, so it's all right. But is it, is it a case of where, it's a case of where he maybe sees who's maybe relevant? Yeah, yeah. And this thing about, sometimes Business. you might be relevant behind closed doors. But the thing, is honey, out there. the thing is, honey, this is what, and this is like, so the other day, I don't know if you saw mm -hmm. that um, Estelle
and Not and so. the thing is, if I inspired someone like Estelle, and I inspired someone like Terry Walker, and I inspired other people, and, and because of me, people like Jamelia got signed and blah blah blah. Mm. And in in, in knowing that, I also know what I got signed. I got signed because of Misha Paris. Yeah, I got yeah. signed, you know, because so so like mm. yeah. I'm aware of the foundation that was laid before there you me go. that allowed You're me always to relevant. be here yeah. and allowed never me to do what relevant. I do. Mm -hmm. I'm mother foundation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for you not to think I'm relevant. Grime Daily would not exist without foundation. And, and we are part of foundation. As someone who does interior design, I love your interior design. It's lovely. Yeah, it's yeah, lovely. It's really nice. And you know, and also, as a man as well. But you know what I love about you? As a man. As a man. Poor taste as a man. Men have poor taste. As a man. No, no, but, but a lot of men within the kind of that industry. Did you ask me about my pronouns before you called me a man? I'm like, by the Do you know what I mean? It's alcohol. It's alcohol. Sorry, that's I'm sorry. It's day. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what the feminine version of chauvinistic is, but it's, I was just that, it, and I apologise. It's apologize. called being a misandrist. A misandrist? I didn't mean to be a misandrist. I didn't mean to be a misandrist. It's fine, lovely darling. I didn't mean to be a misandrist. I just met normally straight men yeah. are not within that industry. I didn't know I'm straight. Oh, for f**k's sake, we know you are. No, what's going on there? You're a chauvinist. You're a chauvinist. You're just labelling me all these things. You know what I'm saying? Shut up. But you know what, I'm joking. Anyway, I'm impressed by your own. We're not another writer as well. When we came in, like, mm -hmm. and I don't know if you did it intentionally. Well, you probably did it mm -hmm. intentionally, but he played all of our music, so you made, instantly made us go, "Oh, sh like, he knows who we are," and you know, because I mean? as I said, not many people know. I know everyone would know who Kelly is, but I know my stuff. The fact that you even played that song mm -hmm. or Heartbeat, even Danae's and the Angels sing, mm -hmm. it made we me feel good. It. Yeah, it no, made I me. I know. Let me say something. Anyone that's been good. in the club scene with House and Garage, they may not know it's you. Yeah. But they they know the song. There's yeah. no house yeah. song. Yeah. Any house I've been to, yeah. originals, yellow, song. any of them. The moment, doom 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 doom. Remember like that's doom, the Remember you mentioned You know, anytime you play that song, they know. So remember like even before I knew you. I used to see you all the time. At like college. All I, the I time. Was there, I was there every, no, every all Sunday. All the time. At ministry, every Friday, every schmooze. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, there's yeah. like, schmooze schmoo on a Friday. You know, mm -hmm. like, when older people talk about being at Woodstock. And yeah. Yes! Like, we, we'll first go garage room. Yeah. We'll mm -hmm. hear you perform. Yeah. Then the last, let's say about 3.45. Start creeping into the RV room because yeah. slow jabs are about to come out. But that was like, <laughs> That's where you put your hand on the wall, like. <laughs> a moment in time, you know, like a moment in time that if you missed it, I feel bad for you. Sam, I was, I missed it because mm -hmm. it was such. So, you never used to miss No, no, my, my sister, my sister used to go. That's why I live like my carelessly for my sister. Had, when I have you on, my sister's like, oh, can you walk? Oh, can you pull? Like my sister used to go Coliseum. I was still in Germany mm -hmm. doing my back and forth. So that's why I know that feeling of I missed a whole era of that. Mm -hmm. I wasn't there. But I know that what kind of brought me back is me kind of reincarnating mm -hmm. that through you. Mm -hmm. and that, but also in a way, but I met you for a time before you were that. So, so yeah. Now for me, when I, for, with Garage, I think the first Garage song I remember like hearing, which was like mainstream, where I realised it was a black woman singing, was was your song, My no Love. No way. Oh, thank you. No, I swear down. Thank that you. was the first, the first Wait, one. Do you know about Misha Paris? Though? Yeah, Misha. No, but, no, but what, what Garage song was it that she had? Oh, oh okay. I, I said Garage. Was remember, was remember, the era that I started raving, remember, I was born in, oh. I started raving around 99, Little 2000. You remember that 99 to 2002 era was Garage. Yes, it was. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. we didn't, we, we never party yeah. to like That Misha was like Paris. urban music. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so the first, I remember like, dun, 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 dun. I was like, well, who's this? So then you go and find out who it was. I think I went to a rave. I I had to sneak in, into dances in like well, 2001, yeah. 2002 with other men's uh, ID. ID. Yeah. ID yeah. So I turned 18 in 03. So I was, oh, I was like, I was like young. I was, yeah, I remember you guys saying I was a young boy out of the group. I was 23, I think. Yeah, yeah I was 24. No. No. I wasn't 23. You're younger than me. 24. No, but I was, I got signed to, I was 22. 22. So maybe I was 20. You said it in what year? Oh, three. Oh, three. So yeah. 1999. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. I forget about it. Yeah, let's forget about it. I was in my early 20s. Yeah, no, that, that was amazing. the first The first song I heard was literally was yours. And I was like, oh, okay. Because I think with Garage, I just assumed because of the, the beat of it, I just assumed yeah. everyone, every Garage thing was white. Because yeah. of the beat. Really? Yeah, because remember, it was only until when like the black boys started rapping over Garage. Mm. Okay, I didn't really, I, I saw Garage as like, and House is white music, even though House is black Do music. Do you know what it was initially? No, I thought I hated House music when it I first was. got into yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So a lot, a lot of people don't realise, you know, how influential the two of you are and the representation and what you've brought yep. into House and Garage you for know the UK mad? scene. I don't, I don't really follow Gar uh, House no more, but before, remember like Sundays, turn mills and all them things, when the house scene was just proper, I used to always be in it all the time because I used to be like, oh. I used to like Terry Mills. Yeah, actually. I used to say to the man, them, let's go house rave. They're like, why? I'm like, all the women go house. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's, that's, that's why I used to go house. That's what spoiled. That's what spoiled. Yeah. 
Because all the men that stay coming, yeah, because yeah, I stop and doing yeah. here, back, back, shoot, shoot. And then I also, stay, I stay they, at our house. They didn't love the music, yeah. so mm-hmm. they weren't there for the music. They were for a gal. And also, it's so mad. Like to this day, if I smell crack, it reminds me of. I was that. I was like, and my friend was like, "Who was that smell?" I said, "Oh my god, he's smoking crack," and it just reminded me of twice. So there used to be a little corner, yeah. And as you like went to the toilet, yeah. all the crack smokers used to be in the corner that in their machine suits. But I remember, I remember there. Them days, it was literally. Just women that went house. Mm-hmm. I used to like house back then. Then when I started going, flying towards America and that, it mm-hmm. just killed it for me. Yeah. So I just went proper all the way in hip hop. So I've come back now. I'm just like, mm. oh, I used to listen to this, but yeah. I don't go house raves at yeah. all no more. Yeah. If I'm talking about Kelly, this is her, f- her female following. Jesus, you can't even go to your house party. This is bare beautiful women and beautiful men. You just have beautiful mm. people. Oh, you do house parties? I, 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 yeah, 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 you she missed my party. My bad. There was nothing. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, oh my I, god! I, Everywhere. So what was his house party? I just, I just no, no, I missed it. I, 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 I didn't know you know them. No, no, I'm saying I just want to know his house party. I haven't had a house party. To be honest, I hadn't had a house party for like seven years, and then but the house had just been done up. So I had a in the garden. So I had a, I basically had a party for my birthday. Wicked party. And I did invite Cliff Doe, but he didn't come. You didn't name Clifto hey, yet. Yeah. That's going to be your new name. name. That's your new it, name it's now. Gonna turn, it's going to turn into two or one. Clifto. Both for you versus me. Clifto, uh, you know. Handicap match. It's fun. Clifto, you know. That is too funny. Clifto. It's your fault. I like no, the name. Not, no, it's, it's your, Kelly's fault. No, Kelly, Kelly said she's going to expose me, so I'm going to expose myself before she exposes me. <laughs> no, I, like, I like the that name Clifto. <laughs> no, you no, know he's going to change my name in his phone book to Clifto. No, no, it's already changed. <laughs> so going to like it's not changed already. Kelly said she understands. So I know. I understand how, so how I, I always made the correlation of the lift and the Chizo lift. <laughs> so you just cut out the H I S and just wear C L I F T O. But you know, if she was dyslexic, you know, you wouldn't have a problem with it. So I mean, what's the word for someone who doesn't support someone who's a dyslexic? And oh, is this a word for uh, maybe a bigot? That's a, a good word. Yeah. A good word no, but you know, a lot of people didn't didn't know. Like, they, they didn't that, that kind of like diagnose it at the time, did they? Misandrist. It's the equivalent yeah. of a misogynist. Oh, I yeah, misandrist. Yeah, yeah. Misandrist, yeah. Mm. New word, thank, thank you. Thank you for teaching me something new. That's sexy. Oh, what a vibe. Oh, oh my okay. God. Right. Don't gas him up. Hey. No, 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 but women like that. Cheers. Yeah. No, this Don't gas him up. There's a lot of bubbles in his head already. Which I said, I got my airhead. Oh, for f sake. Basically. Jesus Lord.